In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot in Microsoft Edge. So this is a web page. This is a website and this is a web page within that website. So if I want to take a screenshot of this website, what I can do. So the one option with which uh, remains with me is like in my keyboard, if I type in uh, press print screen. OK, so I, I'm just pressing print screen. So I've just pressed print screen and now it has taken the print of the uh, screen. OK, so what to do with the print screen? What you can do is you can open MS Paint. So I'm just opening MS Paint. I'll just open it. Uh, and then once MS Paint is open, what I can do is control V or paste it and I can see the website screenshot. OK, now if you see over here what it has done, it has taken the top bar, it has taken the content of the website and it has cut in between. Okay? So now I can see the information and I can even save this information. OK, so what I'm going to do, I'll just click on file. I can click on save as and then I can save this information. Okay, but this is a very crude way, okay, to save your file. Now, why don't we use some functionality of Microsoft Edge itself? So this is an Edge browser. What you can do if you want to take a screenshot of this website, you can do a right click and click on Web Capture. Okay, so if you click on Web Capture and the shortcut is Control Shift S. If I click on Web Capture, then I will be able to capture an area or capture a full page. So let's look into capturing an area. So if I just want to capture the center part of the website, I will just uh, click my mouse over here and then I'll select the region and that's it. I'll just leave the mouse. Now I can do a copy. So if I do a copy, I can paste that content in either MS Paint or Microsoft Word or any other system. Or I can do a markup capture. So if I click on markup capture, then an, another window opens and then I can play around with it. So once I've taken the, uh, the snippet of the screen, uh, then what I can do is uh, I can put a markup. So I, if I want to draw something, I can draw it. I can select the pen from here. Uh, I can select various color. I can select the thickness okay and then i can draw on the page okay so if i want to do some markup i can do that i can even erase the markups okay so if i just move mouse over here it can erase those things once i'm done with it i can save it if i copy it then i can paste it in ms paint or any other uh, editor or word excel powerpoint or if i save it then what happens is this particular image get downloaded as a jpeg and then you can utilize that file. OK, so I'm just clicking on open file and then I can open that in my favorite editor. Okay, So that's why we you can uh, view the file within your application. So I'll just close this. Now, this is fine. What if I want to take a full page uh, capture of the website? So what I can do is I'll just do a right click again, click on web capture or control shift S click here and I'll click on capture full page. The moment I do that, it will start automatically scrolling and then it will uh, put me in that uh, editor mode. Uh, I can I, I can do a markup, I can draw, I can erase, but if I don't want to do anything addition further, then uh, you can see by scrolling that it has captured all the uh, content from the web page. Now, if you save this, then it will uh, again, like the earlier one, it will save as a JPEG. And if I open this JPEG, then it will open the JPEG in your favorite uh, editor. And now if you want to see the content, like it has given you a good uh, portrait kind of a screenshot. Uh, if you want to see more detail, you can just zoom in and then you can just uh, just scroll up and down okay so with this what we have done is we have actually taken a screenshot of the web page the full page screenshot so you need not have any sort of uh, uh, we you don't want actually uh, any extensions to be installed to take a full page capture so this can be easily accomplished using doing a right click and clicking on web capture there are multiple other ways through which you can navigate uh, and then capture the screenshot 
uh, so those all things can be uh, seen over here so if you click here uh, on three dots then you can see web capture and if you go in settings then you can find other more settings as well with regards to web capture so this is a quite useful functionality within microsoft edge to take a screenshot thanks for watching